Hey guys, we made a video recently talking about how if you want to make a viral video for YouTube, popular video on YouTube, that uh, all you need to do is take a gun and a camera, go and stand on a street corner and wait for the police to come along, provoke some confrontation with them, and then you can put it on YouTube and it'll become a viral video with a million views. So there's also another similar style, and that's where people go to the airport to catch an aeroplane and go through security and know that they have to go through the security process, but film it and then make a big drama about it and then put it on YouTube and get a million views. So it's a similar sort of style, provoking some sort of thing, going into a situation that you're aware of when you go into it and provoking it into a drama. And there was one today on the front page of YouTube and it was this uh, two girls that have gone through this security uh, section in the airport and one films the other one and the other one films the other one and and the, the security people were very professional. The lady that was doing the searching was very professional. She was explaining exactly what she was going to do and asking if it was okay and then doing it. And a couple of times when this girl was being all defensive, she said, I can stop now if you want me to stop now. And, uh, but if I stop now, that means that the you haven't passed the screening, which means you can't fly. And so the, you know, the girl would go, okay. So she'd continue and continue. And she's just making a big drama about it. And of course, it's gone huge because they put a title on it. Um, oh, she called it, how's this? She called it uh, TSA, TSA uh, staff touched my vagina. <laughs> and apparently it's the second time she's done it. So apparently she did it once before and she had a video go viral by doing the same thing once before. And at the end of the video, so first of all, if it was such a traumatic experience for her, why would she then put it on YouTube so a million people could watch her vagina being touched if it was, you know? And then at the end of the video, she actually says, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> so it's sort of like she wants to be famous and she wants this to be, you know, she, she wants to be known as the airport vagina girl or something. I don't know. I don't know, just a drama queen. Attention seeker, attention seeker. And it, it seems a lot of the people that watch the video uh, a certain percentage of the people that watched the video went on about the, you know, about the, the conspiracy to take away our freedoms, all the rest of that usual stuff. And the other half, more than half, were just saying that she was an attention seeker, which was good to see. It was good to see that some people could see what was really going on there. But the point of this video, guys, look, as a pilot, as a pilot and as a per someone who's aware of the, the stuff about aeroplanes and, and just every, anybody, whether a pilot or not, We've seen what happens when there's not enough security around aircraft, right? So, you know, uh, uh, three or four guys get on an aeroplane with box cutters and all of a sudden you've got a hijacking. And I mean, that's been going on for years. That was well between, well before 9-11, um, you know, the, the hijackings with box cutters and hijackings with knives have been going on for years. So we're well aware that that can be the situation. Uh, we've also seen guys uh, hiding explosives in their shoes and all sorts of shit, haven't we? So we're aware of all this. And I think anybody who's flown in an aeroplane knows that you sit in that room, you know, at 30,000 feet and you feel, you'd feel very vulnerable if there was some crazy dude in there with a knife or an explosive or something like that. It would be a terribly vulnerable feeling, you know. It's different from another public area where you could run away. Uh, where you could go somewhere else, you know, and get away from the bad guy, you know. Th there's nowhere to get away on an aeroplane. And I think for the average person that flies on an aeroplane, you want to know that there's no weapons on there, you know. So it it's just it's just not practical. The, the people that are going about all this bullshit about, the you know, not being searched and, and their privacy, it seems that these people are not happy with any situation. So, so first of all, you can't say, okay, we won't touch the boobies, we won't touch the genital area, we won't touch these areas, because as soon as you do that, anybody who wants to conceal a weapon and get on an aeroplane is going to straight away put them in those areas. You can't have no, no search areas if you want to make sure that something's searched properly. It's just not practical. Like, sorry, well, okay, we won't touch your crotch, we won't touch your boobies, you know, we won't touch your ass. Well... Right, okay, well then I put a box cutter up the crack of my ass and I put, you know, some C4, you know, plastic explosive, plastic explosive, enough plastic explosive to blow out the wall of an aeroplane, easily fit 
easily fit in your crotch easily you know and and it's just not practical it's just not practical to say okay we won't search those areas because straight away that's where the bad guys have put the, put the stuff you know so that's not practical and the same people that aren't happy with that aren't happy with the other technologies like the the x-rays that can see through your clothes and all that sort of thing they're not happy with that either it's an invasion of my rights it's an invasion of my privacy it's an invasion of a again you have a choice you do have a choice nobody's forcing everybody to go and have that search done you've got a choice you don't have to catch the airplane I think everybody agreeing, let's all get on this airplane together with all these people I don't know. I want to know all those people have been checked. I want to know none of those people have weapons before I get on the airplane. So let's all agree, okay, we're going to get on the airplane. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll give up. Again, it's this thing with the rights. Okay, you've got a right not to be searched. Go home. Catch the damn bus. You know, catch a bus. You won't be searched. Catch the bus. You know, you've got a right not to be searched. You've got a right not to be touched. But if you want to go on an airplane with a bunch of other people where you're sealed in a small space, let's give up our right. Let's stop crapping on about our fucking rights for five seconds. Give up our right. And okay, check me over. Okay, I've got no weapons. Now check him. <laughs> you know, and her and him and him and her. Now check everybody else. Let's make sure no one's getting weapons. Right, let's go on the airplane and have a drink. You know? It's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. It's just that common sense, common sense just seems to be just disappearing. You know, all these, all these, all these topics that we've been talking about recently, where's the common sense? Where's the common sense gone? You know? So I think, I think watching that video was really interesting because the, the, the security lady that was doing the searching was very professional and she just kept saying, I'll stop if you want me to. And that's the point. That's the point. You don't have to go into that security area in the first place to have all that searching done. And you can tell them to stop anytime you want and turn in and walk back out and go catch the damn bus. You know, it's just when you live in a society with other people, you know, it's occasionally we have to give up our rights. Okay. Occasionally we have to give up our right to carry our our semi-automatic rifle in a public place because there's families around and they're going to feel uncomfortable. You know, just just stop being a selfish asshole for five seconds and put your fucking gun under your bed and then and go out and enjoy your night without upsetting all the people around you with your semi automatic rifle. You know? If you don't wanna if you don't wanna go through the security checkpoint at the airport, don't go to the fucking airport. Catch the bus. But if you're gonna go, just go through, be searched, move on, get on the aeroplane. You know, that, that woman was carrying on the, the, I can't remember how long the video was. It was long. It went on and on and on and on, these pair of them. And they, they made such a drama, such attention-seeking drama queens, so that everybody's looking at them. Big scene, big drama, carrying on. Carry, just shut the fuck up. Just shut up. If you don't want to do it, go away. Um, if you're going to do it, just shut up and take it. Be a grown-up. Be a grown-up. It's over in a minute. It's not... It's not you're fully clothed. You know, nobody's, nobody's raping you. You're fully clothed. It's, it's less intrusive than going to the doctor. You know, it's done. Walk on. You know, you don't have to make a big drama about it. You know, it's just, it's, it's sort of childish. I think a lot of this behavior is childish. Selfish, selfish, self-absorbed people. I think, you know, this is a society we live in. You know, it's not all about, it's not all about us all the time we live in a society sometimes we have to give up give up something for the comfort of the people around us you know instead of being a loud obnoxious asshole in the airport all those other people getting on the airplane some people get quite anxious about flying on airplanes they don't need that the first experience that they have at the airport is going to be being subjected to some drama queen carrying on you know just shut up just just relax be searched walk on or Take the bus, go catch a bus, you know? So it's just, it's just unrealistic. It's unrealistic to, to expect to be able to travel on an aeroplane without, without security in this day and age with all the shit that's been going on. It would be insane. And you know what would happen if, if, they, if the government went, right, yeah, 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 that, that's true. Okay, from now on, the guys at the airport are not allowed to search any private areas. Okay, from now on, no, no searching private areas. Six months later, 12 months later, there'd be a hijacking 
and some people would die, and then everybody would be going on about how that was a government conspiracy because they allowed them to take the things onto the aeroplane, you know? It's just ridiculous. You know, be re a little bit of being realistic, a little bit of common sense, a little bit of common sense is required with these things, you know? It's just unbelievable, some of it. Some of it, I just... So much stuff on YouTube just, just leaves me sh shaking my head, you know. Someone said to me recently, something about getting, getting your news from YouTube. Well, YouTube's just a medium, right? So YouTube's got it all. It's got the stuff coming from Joe Public and, you know, Drama Queens and stuff. But it's also got the CNN and the, you know, Russia TV and the ABC and the BBC and the NBC and the, you know, P POQ and all the rest of it. So it's a good source. But it's the it's the people in general. <laughs> it's just like, come on, where's the common sense? Where's the logic? Where's the reason? You know, it's all this insane, crazy, paranoid. You know, fuck, everything's a fucking conspiracy to take away your rights and all this sort of bullshit. No, it's not. Really, really, you don't have to subject you. That that argument falls down when you consider that you don't have to get on the aeroplane. You don't have to get on the aeroplane. Or if you want to, you can go rent your own aeroplane. Then you won't have to be searched. You know? Or take a bus. You've got a choice. You can't really argue all that bullshit when you've got a choice. But you've got to live in a society. And if you want to do something in, in amongst a group of other people, then you've got, to, you've got to concede to the other people's comfort sometimes. You can't have 50 selfish assholes in one place. <laughs> you know, we've got to think about each other. You know, think of the good of the group now and again. You know, that's a healthy, considerate kind of thing to do. What do you people do with, when you're with your families? You know, what, what do people do when they're with their families? You, when everybody's together as the family. If everybody behaved like that, oh, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. What a selfish bunch of assholes we'd be as a family, you know? Family barbecue or something, you know? I want, I want the first one. I want, I want everybody to be fighting wanting the first one. You know, it's my right to have the first sausage. <laughs> you know, it's the same thing with a with, with hundred other people traveling on an airplane. Just show a little bit of, you know, and really being touched through your clothes. Really? Really? Go to a nightclub. Go to a nightclub, get on a dance floor. You'd be touched more than you'd be touched going through one of those searches. Anyway, again, interested to hear what you guys have to think. Um, I'm sure we'll get the usual conspiracy people who'll tell us that it's all part of Obama's clever conspiracy to take away everybody's rights. Uh, but I'm just hoping that there'll be at least a couple of people that say, I don't mind being searched to get on an aeroplane, you know? There's a lot of places now, you go to a concert, rock concerts. I mean, 10, 15 years ago when I did security at a big concert um, stadium in, in Australia, Occasionally, we, we search people before concerts. You know, it's where there's big groups of people, um, and there's where there's some sort of risk. Um, it's a it's a thing that we do. You know, and it, if they don't do the searching, maybe one day that that, that X-ray technology will get good. We can see through clothes and things. Um, but something's got to be necessary. You can't have huge groups of people and people in amongst them with explosives or weapons. And 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 that's not paranoia. That's happened. We've seen that, haven't we? You know, so. Anyway, so to that drama scrag, the big drama scrag, take the bus. Don't go to the airport anymore, okay? You know every time you go to the airport that happens. Catch the bus, you drama queen. <laughs> More videos coming soon.